Variables are like containers which can be used to store data types. I hope you have seen containers at home. You have seen how containers can be used to store household items like rice, sugar, tea, pulses, etc. In this video, we are going to understand what variables in JavaScript are and why it is important to learn the concept of variables. JavaScript is a dynamically typed language, which means that we can change the type of variables at runtime in JavaScript. If you have created an integer, you can always change that variable to hold a string later. If you have created a variable which is holding a string right now, you can always change that to hold a number in the future. This is called dynamic typing. On the other hand, Static typing is something which means that you cannot change the type of variable at runtime. If you have created a variable as an integer, it is an integer and you cannot make it a string. You cannot store string into that variable. So to summarize, static typing means that you cannot change type at runtime and dynamic typing means that you can change type at runtime. We'll now go to our computer screen and understand the concept of variables and we are going to dive a little more deeper. Let's get started. <laughs> So now we are going to understand what variables are and I am going to open the folder that we created in VS Code. In order to better structure program, what I'll do is I'll go to the chapter and let me open this in VS Code first and I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to say 01 underscore 01 means or rather 02 underscore 02 means video number 2 and variables dot JS. Okay. Now a lot of you must be thinking how do I execute a JavaScript program? So we are going to use Node js for that so if you don't have the code runner extension code runner uh, so code runner is an extension which you can enable and you will get this button right here and if i say console.log hello world you will be able to execute this particular program and hello world will be printed in your console now if you think that this is not happening for you or this is not working for you for some reason you can always use replit or you can also do one more thing which i'm going to show you but i'm going to use node.js if you install node.js along with me you will get this output just like i'm getting it but again if you're not able to get it i'm going to show you one more way to execute javascript all you have to do is just create an html file and exclamation mark and why is emit not working okay it's working now what i'm going to do is i'm going to say script okay and inside of script i'll say console.log hello world okay now after doing this i'm going to install a live server which is an extension where is live server where is my extension okay live server so this is an extension you can always install this extension and the moment you install this extension and reload your browser what you are going to see is uh, this particular go live button here just click on this go live button and you will see this just like this and you'll see nothing on the screen but in your console you'll see hello world okay now i'm going to clear all the errors it's giving me an error for fab icon but if you reload this page once again you will see hello world okay so uh, all i want to tell you is if you're not able to use node.js you can always follow this method but i'm going to use node.js and i hope everybody will be able to use node.js if you have installed it just like me if you haven't installed it already just go to the previous video and install node.js and you should be good to go i'm going to delete this index.html file because i don't want it to be the part of our source code I'm going to use node.js so whatever i'm going to explain you in this video the corresponding code for that is going to go ahead okay let me open this pdf for you and after opening the pdf i'll show you what i've written inside of this so this is the chapter one of this ultimate javascript course just like we follow some rules while speaking english which is a grammar uh, we have to follow some rules while we are writing javascript code okay i cannot simply write anything here i cannot say console.harry and hello world it's not going to print hello world it's going to tell me that console dot harry is not a function so you have to follow a certain rule if you want to print something on the screen you need to write console dot lock otherwise this is not going to work okay so we need to follow some rules while we are working with the language now what is a variable it's just like a container that stores a value just like i told you a few minutes back variable is just a container assume a room and assume some space that you are located for let us say keeping your gym items and let us say you have another space uh, a wardrobe 
dedicated to all the items that you're going to wear you have a rack for your shoes uh, now whatever you are keeping inside of your room you have allocated some space for that room just like we allocate some space inside of room to keep items we need to allocate some space in our memory and variable is a container that stores a value and the space that we are allocating is mainly reserved for that particular thing so variable is a container that stores a value inside of a memory we can store values which can be integers it can be a floating point number it can be a string it can be array it can be object it can be whatever you want now this is very similar to the containers we use to store rice water oats what have you so you can treat this as an analogy don't don't take it literally okay now the value of a javascript variable can be changed during the execution of a program this is something which is really very important let us say i have a variable i'll say let a is equal to 45 and the moment i say let a is equal to 45 it's going to allocate uh, 45 inside of this container the name of the container is a now if i say console.log and i say a and I run this code you will see 45 is being printed on the screen what if i do a is equal to 98 right after writing let a is equal to 45 in this line it is actually creating a variable a and assigning the value 45 to it and right after that what it is doing is it is assigning the value 98 to a okay so you can always change the values you can always make your variable hold a different value at a later point in the program and you can always do something like this as well i can change the type of this variable to string this is really very important let me write it down for you in the comments you can always change the type of a variable okay you can always change the type of a variable in this case i have changed the type of the variable from a number to a string okay now this might not be allowed in all the languages if you go to c language or c plus plus you will not be able to do that a container which is supposed to store a number in c language will always store a number you need to destroy that number uh, that variable and create a new variable if you want to change the type in c language but in javascript if you want to do the same thing you can always do that just like i showed you this is really very important and this is called dynamic typing okay let me write it down for you dynamic typing okay this is dynamic typing so dynamic typing is you can always change the value of a variable change the type of a variable sorry not value the type of the variable and static typing is simply you cannot change okay the type of the variable so javascript is a dynamically typed language okay let me write it down um, javascript is a dynamically type language okay let me comment it down for you so this is something which is really very important uh, when we say let a is equal to 7 or var a is equal to 7 you can even use var if you want to create variables but i'm going to show you the difference between var let and const in the next video so var a is equal to 7 inside of this particular statement if i try to focus what is happening let is simply a way to create a variable a is identifier when we say let a is equal to 7 let is a keyword which means that I want to create a space in the memory location and A is the name of that identifier. This identifier should hold value 7 and equal to is the assignment operator. This is the process of declaring a variable in JavaScript. When I say let B is equal to Harry, let us say I say let B is equal to Harry. I'm saying that create a memory location with name B and store the string inside of that memory location. So this is how variables work in JavaScript. Okay. But can I do something like this? I'll show you something. Now, let us say I say let 56 C is equal to Harry or Harry 2. What is happening here? Why is it showing me errors? It is showing me errors because there is a set of rules which applies while you choose a variable name. This will throw an error. Okay, because you cannot start because of the number in the variable name because variable name cannot start with a number not because of the number if i if i change it to a 56 it will work variable can contain a number but it cannot start with a number because variable name cannot start with a number okay so this is actually github copilot which is suggesting me all this code this is really very helpful when i'm typing the code but let me comment this line because if you run it you'll get an error and i don't want that okay now coming back to the rules for choosing variable names you can always have letters you can have digits you can have underscores you can even have a dollar sign uh, inside of your variables but it must begin with either 
a dollar or an underscore or a letter it cannot start with a number it cannot start with a pound symbol if i try to do something like this let pound a is equal to seven no you cannot do that okay this will throw an error okay now the third rule says that javascript reserved words cannot be used as a variable name if i do something like this let class is equal to one no i cannot do that class is a reserved word or if i do something like this let var is equal to one no i cannot do that let const is equal to one no i cannot do that okay so this is something that you cannot do because there are some of the keywords which are reserved in javascript and you cannot use reserved keywords while declaring variables in javascript okay now harry and harry are different variables this particular variable and this particular variable are both different they both are uh, different variables javascript variables are case sensitive because when you are actually using h a capital r r y you are using a different variable and when you are using capital h a r r y this is a different variable this is treated as a completely different variable because when you say capital h a r r y and you say h a r r y you can always distinguish between these two because this one contains capital H this one contains small h but it is recommended that you don't mess up with the variable names like this do not create two variables with the same name in different case because it will cause a lot of confusion in your program so this is a suggestion from my side in the next video what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain you the difference between where let and const and it is going to be a very interesting video because I'm going to show you why let where and const are there in javascript and why you should use which one and when okay so this is something that we are going to discuss in the later videos if you haven't already accessed the notes and source code please do that because i have written these notes for you and i want all of you to access these notes also make sure that you access the playlist and bookmark it and also save it thank you so much guys for watching this video and i will see you next time